Welcome to Love Lies and Lace Fronts. If you are new here, go ahead and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you can be notified as soon as I post another video or go live. If you're one of my family, go ahead and buckle up and enjoy the ride. Let's go ahead and get this video started. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Addressing the Comments. Hey, how are you? Um, it's Wednesday. Um, thanks for joining me. Guys, I didn't do this last week. I think I was just getting ready for Mother's Day. I had a lot of stuff going on. Let me get my let me get my shoulders right. Um, and it just did it just didn't happen, but that's okay, right? I think. Um I'm sure there was plenty to keep you guys amused and I'm back. Um, guys, the comment section has been crazy. Um, I put out a video yesterday, um, Jasmine versus tornadoes. Um, just to tell you really quick, Jasmine put up a video and it was, I don't do tornadoes. And you know, by the end of the video, I just said, you know what? I don't do chaos. Like it was just, a mess actually you can see the video right there um you know there's been a lot of commentary on what's going on with jasmine right now and you know i don't want to pile on so i'm not but i just you know again this was a reaction to the video this is not a reaction to jasmine um, I don't have uh, a personal kind of, you know, Jasmine, um, you know, here's some personal advice for you. You know, that's not what I'm doing. What I'm doing here is we are discussing the video and I'm talking to people who are interested in what I'm interested in, which are, which is mommy content um, that is fascinating so you know jasmine if anything you know we find you um quite interesting so you just keep doing what you're doing and of course i wish you the best um but yeah we're just reacting to the video and specifically today we are talking about these comments in my comment section because as we all know that most of the three moms their comments are turned off and i don't know if they're turned off by youtube they say they're turned off by youtube a lot of people say that they're turned off by them so i don't really know but it doesn't matter today because my comments are on so anyway um we are going to hit right into these comments and we're going to skip around guys um but we're going to go ahead and address kind of the newest first if there are any videos that you guys have seen and particularly interested in some of the comments let me know so that i can address them directly and i can get back with you so um let me go ahead and share my screen here we are um let me make this a little wider so you guys actually have a chance of actually seeing this. But this is my dashboard, guys. For any of you guys who are not YouTubers out here, this is YouTube Studio. So welcome to YouTube Studio. And in YouTube Studio, um, this is where I can just kind of have a full view of all of the comments. So hopefully that is a little better. Okay, so here we go. Um, there's every day with the Kelly girls. Hey, hey, Ebony. Good morning. Um, let's see. Linda Spicer or Lydia Spicer. Um, she is. So I guess, you know, my main commentary, uh, just to jump right in first, let me just say this. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video. Um, this is what I call uh, addressing the comments. So typically weekly, if I needed to come on more, I would. Um, but right now it's weekly and I usually just kind of go through some of the top comments and we talk about them live. And we also talk about them down in the comment section. So if you've seen this video and you didn't get to comment the first time and you wanna comment and discuss it, let me know um down in the comments and if you ever want to come on and be a guest when i'm doing addressing the comments i typically don't do it live but i do use a platform where i could have you come in while i'm recording so if you are interested 
in doing that, if you'd like to be a guest on addressing the comments, if you've got a differing opinion, let me know. I'll be happy to have you on. So um, that's, uh, you know, that's something that I'd love to make happen. So any of you guys out there who are listening, want to come on, send me a DM, comment down below, and I will have you on. And if there's more than a couple of people, we can just have a debate and we will, um, you know, uh, have the conversation and I'll post it to my channel. So anyway, okay. So Lydia Spicer is basic or Spencer rather is, um, basically commenting back. My, uh, commentary really was that, you know, Jasmine comes on live and there's just no kind of goal or rhyme or reason as to why we're seeing her. She just kind of comes on and just kind of like pours a pile of shit on us um from she's sad she's depressed she's not happy with her kids i mean it's it's any number of things and it's frequent and it's often um so lydia was just saying uh she is she is bored she needs to do something with her life and stop waiting for philip well you know i second that lydia um, I don't think Philip is coming back, uh, out of custody, probably for at least another year or two from what I heard, um, allegedly, uh, on the grapevine. So I don't know what's going on with this man, but you know, I, I don't have to tell her that she could do so much better. I'm sure she already knows this. Um, it's just a matter of, does she want it? So I can't want it more than her and neither can any of the rest of you guys. So, um, Jasmine's is going to have to let this whole thing run its course. Um, so media hobbyist says the letter that the girl received from Philip was a mess. I think her subscribers were trying to uplift her after viewing that rant video she did blaming her kids for everything wrong in her home and life. I'm afraid for her babies. Jazzy needs to see a doctor for her depression now. So, you know, guys, the streets are talking. That is coming directly from a subscriber, directly from someone who watches Jasmine's channel. This is what she had to say. Um, so there's a lot there to unpack. So one of Philip's baby's mothers got a, um, custom mother's day card, let's just say, and it was adult in nature and definitely not for the little one's eyes and, um, professing that he missed this person. Um, and if you know who I'm talking about guys, you're welcome to go on over to her site, but I don't really want to kind of like spam her, um, Instagram if she doesn't really want to have conversations around it, but she did post it to her Instagram. So I would think that if you're following anyone in kind of the Jasmine realm, then you should be easily be able to figure this out. And then you'll see the letter and, you know, look at it very hard because you'll see, um, what I'm talking about, but it was a, it was a kind of a, a sexy, happy mother's day and professing, um, his like love and ad admiration. And, um, Anyway, um, the depression, you know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychiatrist or a psychologist for that matter. I am just another mom. I do see someone who doesn't seem very happy. Um, but you know, again, she has to want it more than we want it for her. So I wish Jasmine good luck. I hope that she decides to, um, make some changes in her life that will make her happy. Uh, that's my, uh, commentary on that. Hey, Demita. Um, so Demita is saying it, ha there has to be, uh, teenage girls, uh, complimenting. Oh, okay. So in Jasmine's live, there are people who are like, oh my God, you're the best mother. Oh my God. I admire you. Oh my God. Like this, that, and the third. And it, you know, look, I'm not on here to call anyone, anything, best mother, worst mother, anything like that. That is not my goal. Um, but clearly you see a mom that's in distress and complaining and not happy. And I don't know that those embody the qualities of somebody who is like the best mother. I know that we don't always have the best days and sometimes it is a challenge. Um, but it's interesting to see 
the impression of some of her subscribers. So Demita is commenting in relation to that. It has to be teenage girls complimenting or women with the same train train wreck predicament. Maybe these people are seeing a video or something that we're not seeing. I will give credit and compliment when I see it. Okay. Uh, hey, Tracy Blansford, Tracy. Hey girl, where is this video you're talking about? I don't do tornadoes by unjazzy life. I don't see it anymore. I guess she deleted it. And I just commented some silly stuff. Um, and Trey said, morning girl. I saw the live probably was available to watch later on last night. She's a mess. And that boy. Okay. So if you guys don't know, I want every, you know, I don't always get to answer every comment, but I will give it a heart. So, you know, that I saw it, um, the negative ones sometimes don't get a heart, but they usually do get an answer. So I will say that, um, on a journey, uh, on a journey life. Um, she commented queen. Oh, well, I don't, I'm assuming she's talking about me, but maybe she's talking about Jasmine. I don't know, but I gave her a heart back. So, um, so, hey, Zakia Hernandez, normally I don't really love doing reading comments about the kids, but you guys can read this right here. Um, cause again, the kids are innocent and they're not asking for this life. Um, this is how mom makes her money. So let me make this just a little bigger. Okay. But, okay. That helps. Okay. Um, so there's Zakia, pretty bluebird. I don't feel like she's doing the best she can. I just don't, I do think that all of this is fallout from the card that Philip sent to Asia. So there you have it guys. That's the name. Um, it's on here. So, um, let me just tell her I am answering in my addressing the comments. Please watch later today. Oops. So, um, in the video, I did say, I think she's doing the best she can now is the best she can, the best you can, or the best I can. No, I'm saying the best she can right now. And that can also mean the best she can at this moment. Look, no matter what, I'm the type of person I'm going to extend someone grace. Now, I don't know specifically what her predicament is, and I don't know her complete mental status. I'm not a physician and I'm not a professional uh, in terms of psychology. But at this moment in time, the best she can may not measure up to the best that I can or the best that you can. But what I'm saying is it's the best she can. So I hope that that makes sense. Um, could she do better? Of course we can all do better. There's always room to improve and perfection and all of those things. However, right now with her in the state that she's in, I think that she's doing the best that she can. And that's kind of what I meant by that. So I hope that makes sense. Um, and I appreciate you, um, you know, honing in on that. Um, now, in reference to the fallout over the card from Philip to Asia, um, yes, I think that that probably like made her want to do a nosedive. Um, now, would I feel that way? No, but you know, she's deeply in love with this man. She had four kids with him, and and um, I get it. But you know, it is what it is. Um, she's going to have to want a different life for herself. So that's not something that we can, that we can want for her more than she wants for herself. So, um, so Renee Towns, Hey girl. Hey, uh, Renee is a frequent flyer over here to love lies and lace fronts. And we appreciate her so much. Um, she did reference so jasmine doesn't want to be on a schedule she refuses to do so look at all the clothes that she had to wash and fold she is letting stinky dirty clothes pile pile up for weeks instead of washing weekly what reason does she have to not be able to wash every week well i mean i kind of we wash every day over here and we're just a family of three um 
she's not washing them by hand. She has a dryer. She has a washer and a dryer, so she doesn't have to go out to the laundromat. There's no excuse. I was, I was clothes once a week and have been, I wash clothes once a week and have been forever. It used to be four of us living uh, here, but now it's only my husband and I, and I still wash every week. My grandmother who raised me instilled that in me. Jasmine had to be lying in bed for those kids, for those kids entire house to call, wait, Jasmine had to be lying in bed when those kids tore her house up because they didn't, because she, because, <coughs> I'm sorry guys, <laughs> Jasmine had to be laying in bed when those kids tore her house up because why didn't she hear the cups being thrown on the floor? A mother who has small kids with the oldest being seven and the youngest being two should not be in bed with her two year olds running through an unattend a house unattended. She needs to nap when the kids do well said period. I mean, I have, there's nothing to really uh, debate on that. I mean, I, you know, I completely agree. And you know, Jasmine, if you're watching this, the streets are talking. That's, that's what the word on the street is. Um, there was an older woman who was trying to reach out to Jasmine in one of the lives with the four mothers. She told Jasmine she sent her some messages. Perhaps this woman who, who perhaps that's the woman that knows her mother. I don't think so. Um, Renee, um, if you watch my last video, three moms update, it may have, it was either in the last one or the one before last where, um, so it wasn't in the last one. I think it was in the one before where I was like, oh, here's an awkward moment. There was somebody who was trying to say hello to Jasmine and Jasmine just kind of like blanked out and was just kind of like, oh, you were trying to reach me. Oh, okay. Like, let me get another chip and just kept going. Um, that was not the same woman. Um, if you look at th this video, you can see from the screenshots. And then if you go to my previous video um you can hear that woman and you can see that woman and these two are not the same people um asking for miss cheryl um jazz came on live showing us her kids tore up the house but yet she sits outside for a good while not knowing what her kids are doing in the house i mean yeah more of the same just more of the same so um Tracy Blanford, hope your Mother's Day was beautiful. I can't with unjazzy life. I didn't see her new live. Her whole being and kids are chaos. Uh, Wildflower, I've come to the conclusion that she is screaming for help for someone to take the kids more. The twin take the kids more the twins because they can't do nothing for themselves because they are always crying i remember when she came back from the weekend with no kids you would think that she would be refreshed and happy to come back but it was the opposite she came back home she didn't get online because she said she was depressed and couldn't get out of bed i think her mother has advised her but she doesn't listen she is not going to help get help mentally unless she is forced. I hope this happens soon for her sake and, and the kids because she seems... Oh, she seems like she's getting worse. She's always blaming the kids when it's her fault. She is in her room with the door closed and the kids are on their own, including the two toddlers. Um, it's it really is i'm going to skip down a little bit chrissy has nine kids and she doesn't act like that online yeah good point i mean we don't know what she does when she's not online but online well let's correct that chrissy is usually in the bathroom with the door closed the kids might be in and out of her bedroom but she is in the bathroom and she's always telling them to shut the door so it's possible um so i'm going to correct you on that if you know i'm going to call i'm gonna call out that point um her kids are happy kids and they look pretty happy but you know um we're not in the home but i'm her kids do look happy they 
seem to have a good relationship with their mom. They're not always crying. I think when we hear Chrissy's kids, it sounds like they're having fun and they're playing. Um, I have never heard anyone complain so much about their kids like she does, making it sound like they are bad kids and they're not. They are children needing supervision and time. So I, I agree with you right there. Um, you read my mind from Zira Hernandez. She needs to help with the kids. I think she is trying to focus on losing weight so that when Philip comes out of jail, she looks as good as he wants, as he, as he wants, as she wants to look. I think her having to worry about her looks so much is making her depressed and kind of makes her mad at the kids. Uh, their kids, they don't understand the twins or toddlers and need to be entertained and nurtured. This when the learning point starts and I don't see her sit down with the kids and play and teach them anything. Yet again, we don't see anything that goes on in the household. I think she, I think she somehow is resenting the kids. I also, uh, I saw a video she posted about a month ago when she was saying these damn kids messed up her kitchen, blah, 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 blah. Why are these kids alone in the kitchen? I mean... Hello? Okay. Um, 100%. Trina Reynolds. Hey, uh, hey girl. Hey, I saw some of the live. Then I got clicked. Then I clicked off. I couldn't take the kids screaming and look disconnected and depressed. Um, she tore, they tore up the house the night before they wrote on the wall with crayon and marker. And, uh, she was at her mother's house waiting to go home. I did hear the lady say, I know your mother. And, she said, how do you know my mother? I just clicked off. I saw no point. It was just so annoying. Jasmine is just reaching out to talk to anybody who will listen, but she wasn't saying much. She needs to get help for herself. She's not happy. She talks about, she, she talks it out on the kids or takes it out on the kids. And if she deserves a mother of the year, award i deserve a statue a street with my name and a party and and it a street with a name on it a party of cake balloons a key to the city i can't i said you and me both mothering is hard but so rewarding and at the end of the day i feel good when my daughter is happy and my husband is happy that brings me so much joy those tired days pass eventually. And that's true. Um, Tina O, thanks for the vid, Fran. It appears that Jazzy can juggle, can't juggle several things at once. Parenting four kids, including toddlers, YouTube, Philip drama, all seem to be overwhelming to her. I hope that she sits back and evaluates her situation. I'm sure there is some change she could implement to make things a little better. It just takes determination and to want to do so. I didn't see the live. Most of her lives aren't interesting and are full of random ranting. Um, Renee replies back. You think she would take after her friend, Chrissy, who has more kids than her. Chrissy doesn't complain half as much. You know, Chrissy, yes, yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't complain typically at all. I mean, sometimes you do hear her talk about wanting a break or needing a vacation and things like that. But I think that you know, since her mother is gone right now, she probably has no choice but to just buckle up and ride this out. Um, because, you know, at the end of the day, we're moms and we've got to handle business. And there is no time to fool around. I mean, that's just the way it is. I mean, we are, we, you know, we've got kids to take care of. Um, she doesn't have real friends, so she takes to YouTube to express her feelings. Um, Ayana says, exactly, I said true, but if she talked about what she has going on, rather than complain, she'd do better and maybe inspire, and maybe be inspired to improve her life. Right now, it's just pathetically sad, and I'm sorry to say it like that, but that's the truth. Um, is there any wonder she doesn't have friends? Would you want to be friends with someone who's always negative and it would bring you down? That's true. I certainly wouldn't want this in my life. Um, Super Sailor says, I agree. Jasmine likes to come on YouTube and overshare. Then she gets mad when people throw it in her face. She lacks basic coping skills 
and with four kids and a cheating jailbird baby daddy, you would like to, you would like she, you would like she would know how to hustle and deal with stressful situations. Yeah, you would probably think, you would probably think she would know and she does. Commentary here, guys. A lot of commentary, a lot of just kind of like, wow, what is really going on? So, guys, go into that video and check it out. Let me take this last one because the thread goes on and on, and a lot of people were really um, here for this post. Um, Elise uh, Bazinski, I see you down here. Wow, look. Um, So we'll let that load, but we're going to go back up for a second. Okay. So, um, okay. So beautiful vibes. It's always the same useless live. She just sits there and reads comments, complains about everything, dry bags, blames stuff on the kids, ignores Maya, makes Kaylin do motherly duties. All the while the camera is focused on zoom up on those large nostrils. Same old, same old. Okay. So yeah, I mean, in a nutshell. <laughs> so Elise, um, she said, girl, laughing my ass off. Um, Kim uh, Gardner. Oh my God, you nailed it. Well said. Um, it's absolutely draining on us. This is what I'm saying. Doesn't she know she's growing? Not because people are rooting for her. Her story is sad and very negative, And she wonders why she gets negativity. Seriously. I mean, it's true. It's it's true. I would love to see her win. Um, Zahira uh, is laughing. Uh, uh, LOL emojis. Uh, she's like Liv and Chrissy. No matter how low they go, they will for view. She's like Liv and Chrissy. No matter how low they go, they will for views and cash. So, I mean, that's that's you know, um, what's that? Uh, I'm trying to think of that song, uh, something it's Erica Badu. Um, I'll think of it. Um, so yes. Um, I think at this point, most people are either tuning in to watch the train wreck or legit concern for those innocent children whom unfortunately have a, neglectful low vibrating mother who values a jailbird and her camera over them so sad and you know i'm just gonna chime in here just you know not so much in her defense but you know i youtube right um i don't know that it's that she loves her camera but it's it is her job that's how she makes her money instead of going out to a traditional eight to five, nine to six, whatever job at the mall, she's doing this. Now, that being said, you know, I'm just going to throw myself into this really quick. Today, I was up, I got my husband off to work. I did some things. I got my daughter up. I actually made the new intro that you will see at the beginning of this video. And by the time I finished that, I hadn't recorded this yet. I still had to get dressed, fix my hair, things like that. Um, my daughter has to be on Zoom at 9.30 for school. So we had school all morning. It's four o'clock right now. When she got on, um, she did work all day, got her own lunch now. Um, she will be almost nine. She likes to try to make a sandwich, noodles, things like that, whatever's left over from last night. Long story short, I got her on her Zoom at 2. I got her on her Zoom at 2.30. 3 o'clock, she was done with her schoolwork, and I let her get on her phone. Mommy came in her office, and now I'm working um, to bring some good content to you guys. So you see what I'm saying? Like, it's all about balance. you got to take care of your kids first. You've got to do your first things first, you know, along with, maybe I didn't mention, I put in like two loads of laundry. I mean... I am not super mom and I'm not perfect, but what I'm saying is, is that if you are constantly stopping what you're doing to go live, it's like you have to prepare even mentally, then you have the live and then after the live, you need to post it. You need to put the 
ad breaks in so you get paid then you are probably looking at comments which i know she doesn't but then sometimes she goes well, i mean it's a whole thing guys it's a whole thing so um let's just finish up this last one and maybe i'm going to do a part two um because all we did was this video and there's more comments from other videos so let's finish this one and then we're i'm going to come back um in a part two that i'll post either later tonight or tomorrow and we will have part two addressing the comments okay um so the rest of this uh, mrs kaya um she's crying on the accuracy i mean barbara lent um beautiful vibes you nailed it spot on um there's laugh you know i mean everybody is in agreement of what is going on here so you know again i don't want to pile on you know that's that's not my goal i mean we want look at the end of the day we are looking at a video and we're commenting on the video. There is a person attached to this video and we don't want to be insensitive to that. Um, but as I've said, probably five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 times, she has to want it more than we do. And she's putting it out here for us to consume it. It's on her channel. Um, she profits from it. So she wants us to see it. Reaction videos are a cornerstone part of YouTube. I didn't create reactions. No one I know created reaction videos. Reaction videos have been around for a long time. Okay. Um, so that being said, um, we're going to go ahead and, um, and right here, thank you for watching this video today. And I'm going to come back with more comments in part two. And I'll post that tomorrow. Okay. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, take care. Have a good evening. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to comment down below.